Hello guys and welcome back to another video from Bipin Sharma Biology Tutorials. In the last video we have talked about phycomycetes. So in this video we are going to proceed and we are going to discuss about the ascomycetes. Now the ascomycetes are also known as sac fungi. Okay. So what is the simple trick or simple hack to memorize this? Just rearrange the initial three letters of ascomycetes. You are never gonna forget this one. A, S, C, just rearrange them, it will become this, which is the sac fungi. Okay, so there will be no confusion at all that the members of Ascomycetes are known as sac fungi. After that, what is their nature? They are mostly multicellular and we know very well that all the fungi are multicellular eukaryotes. But there are some sort of exceptions. We have already completed a chapter which is very interesting that is microbes in human welfare where we have discussed about yeast that is Saccharomyces cervicae. वहाँ पर हमने बात की थी Baker's yeast की which is very very helpful in the fermentation process. So that yeast is unicellular, right? So that yeast or Saccharomyces is a unicellular fungus and that's why in the eukaryotic studies, when we want to study a eukaryote, its genetic components or any kind of thing, any kind of process that is important for eukaryotes, to hum model organism jo lete hai, wo yeast ko lete hai. Because it is one of the simplest eukaryotes. Okay? So yeast, that is Saccharomyces, is unicellular. Then Penicillium and most of, okay, most of the Ascomycetes are multicellular. And there is a very important fact related to penicillium. I hope you know about the first antibiotic that is penicillin, which is discovered by Alexander Fleming. Okay, so question mold karke de sakte hai. Ki, we know very well that there are some exceptions, there are some unicellular fungi. In which class of kingdom fungi does yeast belong to? So you have to memorize that it is a member of Ascomycetes. Or you can be asked about penicillin, that from what particular class of fungi it is obtained. So you have to answer Ascomycetes again. So it is very important to memorize all the examples, right? After that, they can be saprophytic like all other fungi because they cannot make their own food. So saprophytic will be growing on dead and decaying matter and they will be deriving their organic nutrition from them. They can be decomposers, okay? If they will be growing on dead and decaying matter, they will be converting the complex organic molecules into simpler things. Okay? They will decompose the matter in a very good way. That's why these are very important environmental decomposers. After that, they can be parasitic, they can be disease causing, right? So, what do they do? plant can grow for nutrition. And they can be coprophagous. This term is very important. Coprophagous simply means which are growing on dung. Okay? Jo dung hai, dung cakes hai, unke upar grow karne wale, jitne bhi panjai hai, those are known as coprophagous. So they can be saprophytic, they can be parasitic, they can be decomposers, and they can be coprophagous. Right? This is ascomycetes. Now in phycomycetes, we have talked about that there is no septa. There is a septate condition in phycomycetes and that's why many nucleus are present in a single compartment that is forming the sinusitic condition. But in this case, the mycelium is branched as well as the septa are present. And due to the septa, only one nucleus is present in a single compartment. It is not sinusitic at all. Right? So, in case of the ascomycetes, the mycelium is branched and septate, right? And like all other different fungi, this class also grows or also reproduce via different modes of reproduction. It can be asexual, it can be sexual. The asexual reproduction is due to some important spores called conidia, okay? Which is exogenously produced, exogenous means outside the body. So there are some special uh, outgrowths like this and there will be conidia produced over here. Okay. So 
on those conidia pores the conidia are produced in exogenous manner right and those conidia they will be dispersed and they will be germinating to form the mycelium and the mycelium in then form a proper fungi okay so the asexual reproduction is with the help of conidia which are produced exogenously this is also very important we are going to talk about each and every spore and we are going to talk about whether they are produced exogenously or endogenously you have to memorize each and everything for example when we talk about sexual reproduction there are some specific spores when you will talk about basidiomycetes you will be talking about basidiospores which is the next lecture but here in ascomycetes there are some special ascospores which are produced endogenously in SI or ascus okay there is a round structure that is known as SI or ascus and in that ascus the ascospores are produced endogenously because उस बॉल के अंदर प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं एस्को स्पोर्स राइट सो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एस्कस एस्को स्पोर्स आर बीइंग फॉर्म्ड एंड दोस एस्को स्पोर्स विल बी जर्मिनेटिंग टू फॉर्म अनदर एस्कोमाइसिड और अनदर फंजाई वी कैन से एंड दीज एस्कस दीज बॉल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स आर अरेंज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रूटिंग बॉडीज कॉल्ड एस्को कार्ब्स ओके Carbs, which simply means fruiting body. So, यहां पर क्या है एक बार रिवाइज करते हैं पूरे लेक्चर को इट विल बी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू वाइज सो सबसे पहली बात इट इज नोन एज सैक फंजा यू जस्ट हैव टू यूज द थ्री इनिशियल अल्फाबेट एंड यू विल नेवर बी गॉन फॉर गेट दिस वन आफ्टर दैट दीज आर मोस्टली मल्टी सेलुलर लाइक पेनिसिलियम एंड दे कैन बी यूनिसेलुलर लाइक ईस्ट और सेक्रोमाइसिस सर्वाइसी और बेकर्स ईस्ट यू कैन कॉल इट एनी After that, they they cannot make their own food, so they can be saprophytic, they can be decomposers, they can be parasitic, and they can be coprophagous. That is growing on dung. After that, the mycelium is going to be branched and septate, so there is no cenocytic condition. After that, the asexual reproduction is with the help of conidia, which are present or which are formed exogenously, and the sexual reproduction is with some special spores. some specific spores related to ascomycetes that are known as ascospores which are present or formed endogenously in the ascus or si and those si are arranged in a particular format and that arranged format is known as ascocarp or the fruiting body this is about ascomycetes now let's talk about a trick to memorize the example okay we can you know pronounce it like nasa so that it will be easy to memorize where a simply means ascomycetes or if you are able to understand this a then you can use can as a trick so and for neurospora a for aspergillus and then claviceps so neurospora is known as okay the experimental model why because it is quite simple as well as it is used a lot in the genetic studies so is a drosophila of plant kingdom bhi bola jata hai and this question is very important so neurospora is a very important thing okay aap log neurospora ko yaad kar lijiye then there is aspergillus then there is claviceps penicillin and uh, yeast we have already done there are some edible fungi also that are morels and truffles which are present in this class okay so you have to understand these two uh, examples separately because these are separate from these ones okay so this is about ascomycetes i hope you got the concept very well i hope you really like the video agar aapko pasand aaye then do hit like button share this video with your friends tell them to subscribe my channel too keep supporting and please make sure that you will hit the bell icon for getting notification of each and every video of mine thank you